So which one is better, the manhwa or the K-drama? Yeah, we're talking about I'll see you on my 19th life. That's the translation or has another one. I guess on my 19th life, take care of me or see you on my 19th, I don't know. You know, that's the problem with translation sometimes. But it doesn't matter, yeah. We did a little experiment. I read first the manhwa and then saw the K-drama. While Ducky, I shot first the K-drama and then read the manhwa. So which one do you like? Both. What about you? I love both of them. Yeah, we have good taste. <laughs> we do. The thing is that it doesn't matter which one you read first. I. This is my take. First of all, Netflix, thank you so much for doing a good adaptation. Yeah. And you add a little things here and there, and you took away a little things here and there. But overall, yes, is very, very good, both of them. I think that whatever the manhwa was missing, Netflix put a little extra here and there. Yeah. And whatever the Netflix adaptation was missing, you can go ahead and it's right there in the manhwa. Although they did change the bad guy for a moment. They got you confused there. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> no, wait, we, we got I shot that the bad guy... Well, the bad guy is the bad guy, yeah. But in the Netflix drama, there is a bad girl. Bad woman. Not like Batman, though. <laughs> bad. P.A.D. <laughs> that is not in the manhwa. Well, they, yeah, this is for that. I mean, the manhwa came out first, 114 episodes, plus one that the author actually wrote her, her, her thoughts. And they always do that. They change a little things here and there, not uh, just to confuse people or having a little more excitement. And what I really like about the Netflix drama, the K-drama, is that we were able to see their feelings a little more deeper on the characters. Yeah. But what is it about? Well, See You in My 19th Life is about this girl, or we can say this person, that sadly, <laughs> and I say sadly, remembers um, the whole 19th life before or 18 lives before the, the 19th. That is, that is crazy. <laughs> anyway, on her 18th life, she met this kid. Um, I believe they're like six years apart. I don't remember pretty well. Like Maybe like three, maybe. It doesn't matter. She met this kid, and this kid really, uh, in a way, nailed to her heart, make her feel like, like a woman. <laughs> she, she fell in love with this kid. And yeah, so this is the sh her chance to move on from all those 17 previous life and she has decided like i am going to marry this kid this is the love of my life and bang sadly she dies in a car accident and now we are in the 19th life and here she has decided because it's also a woman thank goodness maybe it would be very interesting if she become a man <laughs> but still she is a woman and has decided to find a guy and now i believe and i'm very sorry i wrote it down somewhere in my notes and kind of find it <laughs> but they are i believe it's 10 years apart maybe six anyway he's the oldest and she's youngest yeah but vice versa she's the oldest one because she's 19 live i understand but still anyway she finds him and she has decided to make the guy fall in love with her without him knowing that he that she is actually this 18 live girl so confusing <laughs> He cannot even explain it. I'm going to do it. Okay, go ahead. She's going to make the guy fall in love with her, even though the guy still is in love with the other girl that passed away a couple of years ago in a car accident. Bam. Simple. <laughs> now we're going to compare both the manhwa and... <laughs> I was going to say anime. We're going to compare the manhwa with the live action. Correct? Yes, correct. The thing is that she... The way she's making him fall in love with her, she's very direct. She has this live, way live experience ahead of him. And he's still very shy. And in a way, he's stuck in a bubble because everything that he's been going through with his life. Uh, and yeah, the challenges. Yeah, and now he's trying to take over his mother's uh, hotel. Thank you. And it's very interesting. I really, really like it. And again, it doesn't matter which one do you saw first or you read first, the manhwa. It's just beautiful. It's just very entertaining. I really like the whole... This is the thing about the Netflix show, the adaptation. They add a few more stuff of her past life that you didn't see on the manga, especially yeah, how the whole 
thing about finding a solution for this problem. Exactly. That that was for me it was very interesting. Although they did cover that in the manga, I believe it was a little superficial the way they did it in the manga. I believe in the life adaptation they concentrate more in that. And also in the accident. Yeah, because the accident wasn't an accident, it was actually it was a hit. Like a hit man. <laughs> yeah, so she passes away because the bad guy of the show uh they, they were investigating. I believe, I, I don't remember the manga to be so deeper. The, the feelings of the guy, the investigation of the car accident, and also the way to find a solution to the problem. Yeah, because the secondary characters, I believe they brought more of that. And I think that in the manga, you were more concentrating in the in the love and in, in how she's going to make him fall in love, how to explain to this guy, like, hey, this is happening. I am this girl and now I am in this body and uh, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. A very unique story. I I never seen something like this. And the whole flamenco dance, which I, at the beginning I was pretty annoying, but it paid out at the end. Yeah, I believe that was one of the best stories line of her past life. Yeah, well you get tired. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, she's always dancing. I she's it's just going to stop because that is not in the manga. Yeah, huh? yeah. Some, like I said, some details that they put in the next show that I really appreciated. Uh, and again, go to the manga and you're going to see all the details that they didn't put. Yeah. And still, I don't know the end. Which one do you like better? Um, because it's, it's the same ending, but at the same time, it's not. Correct. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, of course. <laughs> so it's the same ending, but at the same time, it's a happy ending. Yeah, it's, it's a good ending. It's a beautiful ending on both. I feel, I don't know, I believe I like the manga ending better. Yeah. I, you know what, so do I. Yeah. Yeah. Still, thank you. I agree with you. Thank you, Netflix. Thank you, Netflix. Yeah. Finally. Now fix Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I was supposed to say that. I, I just saw it. <laughs> he cut my line. Which one do you like better, the manga or the K-drama? Yeah, let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time. Bye, bye.